Hey guys, it's Coach Elmi. Hope everybody's having a great night. Um, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions about uh, grocery shopping and the way you go about doing that. Do you ever um, buy a bunch of food and then end up throwing it away and just being very wasteful? I know our family does that a lot whenever we don't have a plan. And so um, it really hurts my heart whenever, you know, we just throw a bunch of money away. We work really hard for our money. And um, when we throw groceries away, it's like throwing it in the trash. So there is a better way, and I'm here to teach you that. So I want to share with you the tips um, in the next couple of days, the tips that I uh, use to meal plan for my entire family. And along with that comes free worksheets that I'm going to provide for you at the end of this video. Um, if you don't know who I am or if you're new, um, my name is Coach Elmi, and I'm a mom of four. I've been in the fitness industry since 2008 um, as, a fit, uh, as a fitness instructor first locally at the gyms where I lived and then um, later becoming a fitness and nutrition coach online. And I've helped hundreds of people um, lose weight and learn how to eat clean and create meal plans for themselves with foods that they love, um, nothing bland, and then also including family recipes in those, um, in those meal plans. So, um, one thing that I want to start with is um, the benefits about creating a meal plan. So what this will do is it's going to help you um, save time because you're not going to spend um, endless amounts of time uh, walking up and down the aisle not knowing what you're going to get. You're going to have a set grocery list to go to, go to the grocery store with. Um, it's going to save you money because you're not going to throw in things that you think you might need and then you don't end up using um, and they sit in your pantry until the expiration date goes out or you just throw it out um, because it's uh, molded or it's gone bad as far as produce goes. Um, it's also going to reduce stress because you are going to know exactly what you're going to eat um, or exactly what your family's going to eat um, every single evening. So you're going to know exactly uh, the plan. You're not going to have your kids constantly asking you what's for dinner because they're going to have a plan um, laid out for them as well that you can hang up on the refrigerator. So um, this really does change your life. When you have a plan, it's going to change um, the way you spend your money. It's going to change um, the things that you cook. And so along with that comes with um, healthier choices and um, using what you have in the pantry or in your fridge already. All right, so step one, let's get to it, is taking inventory. So how many companies do you know just go out and buy whatever they think they might need without actually taking and looking at their inventory. Um, there's probably none. Um, most of them know exactly what they need and what their customers are going to need. So it's the same concept. You don't want to go to the grocery store um, without knowing what you have at home because you don't want to um, rebuy things that you already have. And I've done that so many times where I'm like, okay, wait, do we have tomato sauce or do we not? And then you don't know. So you just go ahead and purchase it and then it just sits in the cabinet. So that's the first step. And so what I've created um, is an grocery, can y'all see that? It might be backwards, I'm not sure how this works. It's an, a grocery inventory worksheet for you to fill out. So this is the first step that you're gonna take. So you're going to, and so it has different columns. It in, includes produce, dairy, pantry, cans, grains, pasta, beverages, meats, frozen, anything other than that. Um, household items, I left a little space here for household items if you wanna use it for that. And then at the bottom, you can add some notes. And so um, it's not just a good idea um, to fill this out. It's going to help us as we continue the series. So this is going to be the first part of the series. So I want you to, um, I'm going to put the link to this inventory sheet um, underneath um, after I post this video. Um, I'm going to put the link to the inventory sheet there for you to go and download. And then um, for the next evening, your homework is to go and make inventory. And so some tips on that, on how to do that really quickly, because I know we're super busy. I'm a super busy mom. Um, involve your kids. So to accomplish this faster, involve your kids. Get them to go, and especially my six-year-old, she's going to love this when we do this here in just a second, because I'm going to do it with you um, this week. So um, she's going to um, love um, going through the cabinets and telling me what's in there. 
Um, and then what we're going to do this first time that you do this and fill this out is probably going to be the longest one that you do. And then after that, we're just going to continue moving items to the next week's sheet. And so um, we'll update it weekly. You'll be crossing things off as you use them. It's a good idea to put this on your refrigerator so that if your kids go in there and grab something and they know that it's been, you know, they've eaten it, then they can cross it off. If they remember to do that, you might just have to do a, an inventory each week and figure out what you don't have. Cross that off. And then um, it'll also help you um, know what produce you have already so that you know um, what recipes you need to use. So um, if you have a recipe, if you have a bunch of um, squash, then you know you better come up with a recipe for squash in the next couple of days before that squash actually goes bad and starts molding. So that is where we're gonna um, save money and we're gonna save time because we're gonna know exactly uh, what we're gonna do. So this is step one. So remember, you're gonna go fill out this inventory sheet of your groceries. And then tomorrow, we're gonna continue from this point on to the next sheet. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Hey Annie, how are you? Um, so I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Um, great. As I continue um, the series on meal planning for your entire family. I'll post the link to that worksheet um, after I post this video. Thanks for joining. Bye.